بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہندی مسلمان ہندی مسلمان مینز انڈین مسلم دس از اے شارٹ غزل آئی کین سی جس تھری اشار تھری کپلیٹس اینڈ اٹس فرام زرب کلیم نمبر نائنٹین سو اقبال ہی روٹ دس غزل آئی ووڈ سی ان تھرٹیز لائک نائنٹین تھرٹیز بیکاز دس واز ون آف ہز لاسٹ بکس آئی گیس ارمقان حجاز از دا لاسٹ اردو ون اینڈ دین Zarbi Kaleem came before that. So, 1930s. So, we have to picture that time uh, when Iqbal was there in uh, United India. You can say United India. So, um, he ex- so this Nazm is, this Ghazal is basically about, uh, so there is an average Indian Muslim. Uh, so, what others, others think of that average Indian Muslim And then what he has in his mind, like what's going on in his mind. And then uh, once we, I'll read this and if we can, we'll try to understand these. And uh, then you can relate this to our present time. Okay. And then uh, just picture one average Indian Muslim from Indian subcontinent uh, from Pakistan or living in India. And then try to see if uh, those, you know, if, If these arguments still hold, you know. غدار وطن اس کو بتاتے ہیں برہمن انگریز سمجھتا ہے مسلمان کو گداگر سو ٹو کیریکٹرز برہمن اینڈ انگریز سو دیٹ ٹائم انڈیا واز انڈر ڈائریکٹ برٹش رول اوکے سو اینڈ دین برہمن از دا ادر کیریکٹر سو برہمن از بیسیکلی اے مینٹیلٹی okay that exists in uh, india in indian subcontinent and so this is uh, you know so i talk about caste system all the time so we practice caste system uh, in the whole indian subcontinent region and this system divides human beings into uh, superiors and inferiors okay uh, based on the profession that you know uh, uh, their forefathers, you know, used to have, used to do some jobs and based on that, the, you know, you assign a cost to a person. And then there are inferior human beings to a level that they are kind of untouchables, you know, that's the word we, are, uh, we get from this, uh, this mentality. So till today, you know, this mentality exists in Indian subcontinent. Uh, and then the highest class is Brahman. So this Brahman mentality, and it exists in both parts, okay? So in Pakistan as well, we don't have these terms Brahman and uh, Chuth or untouchables in Pakistan, but we have equivalent terms. But the core character of that person, you know, uh, is still the same, okay? Uh, it's just that in one part, they have a different religion like kind of uh, clothing you know and then in the other country they have a, another clothing you know a different uh, uh, religion but the core of this person remains the same this mentality remains the same so now if you go back to like if you start reading newspapers okay pick any newspaper indian newspaper from 2004 onward and then try to see like uh, if there is a word Muslim appears in newspaper like in any news and then uh, read that and then go to the comment section okay and read all those comments and just or watch any TV programs you know all those shows late night shows and so when they talk about Muslims so it does not matter that if that person is a practicing Muslim or non-practicing Muslim as long as that person carries a Muslim name then we heard a very famous dialogue you know we offer i have heard myself okay uh, i have heard people talking to you know saying these words to one another directly to me uh, i'm not from india but still i've heard those words okay go back to pakistan okay go back to pakistan is a slogan that sells in india okay and so gaddare watan usko batate hain brahman so what's the reason the reason is that this mentality they had the top one The, the ones that are the uh, uppermost part, you know, the topmost part of this hierarchy, they treat or they think that Muslims are ghaddare watan. They are traitors, basically. So basically, they have not accepted Muslims as part of this uh, Indian subcontinent 
for them and you cannot disagree with this okay for them muslims are invaders who came from somewhere else and then they got settled in india it does not matter they have spent 1000 years 700 years or you know it doesn't time doesn't matter it does not matter if they have contributed something good to this uh, region it does not matter at all but to this mentality they are traitors and they came from somewhere else and so this was thinking in 1930s at that time so is this thinking still there you have to answer me this angrez samajhta hai muslima ko gada agar then angrez is this at that time so it was this uh, elite you know the political elite that was uh, british uh, you can say because they were the ones that were uh, what's the word so they think that muslims are beggars okay so what's the mentality right now okay muslims are an average muslim uh, this the political elite of west you know the whenever so there are interests national and you know economic interests you know so this today's politics is all about political and national interests so if a countries and especially from our region you know pakistan other countries as long as you are you know uh, you are projecting or protecting the interests of political elite western political elite then those muslims are good and those people are good the ones who are doing that but as soon as you know if they say that we have to protect our own interests you know we have some interest as well but then the uh, <clears throat> then there is a con uh, conflict okay and as a result of that conflict uh, the first so there is a, this carrot and stick policy that's used right very openly and uh, carrot is what that we will give you some aid okay so why do we give aid so, to someone and why we stop aid from someone because we know that they are beggars okay so that's the mentality in west in western political elite that these muslims are beggars okay and the ones that are not beggars so basically uh, you know those you know if if you keep uh, if your interest and my our interest are together then you're fine you know no concerns about those for now but if your your interests are different than ours and you are not protecting and projecting the interests of western political elites then beggars okay so first will be carrot okay cutting aid and then next is stick okay so these are two characters brahman mentality and angrez and the way they think about you know the average muslim are from that region then there are punjab ke arbab e nabuwat ki shariat kehti hai ke ye momin e pari na hai kafir then we have our own from i'm from punjab so you know we have our own political elite okay from punjab so this political elite that we have it's again caste addict okay so basically it's the same brahman mentality this is a system that we hold very dear and this system uh, then uh, nurtures this elite okay they, it gets selected from the popular sport of this uh, bradri system and all that and so what they have they have figured out a, a way of you know uh, ruling people okay and so that way is generally you know we call it sharia you know in religion you have laws and those laws are called as sharia so islamic sharia so but then this political elite they have their own sharia their ways of working their rules okay so what they think that kehti hai ki ye momin e pari na hai kafir ke if you talk about a person and you read you can read iqbal's whole poetry you know uh, i have tried myself so there is a term momin okay momin is a character a true character uh, humanity based character a character that recognizes oneness of creator and then he is all for humanity he is connected to humanity okay in simple words you can understand like this but if you talk about this character and then you shun their nabuwat their ways of working okay then they will uh, they will call you kafir like infidel okay 
they won't call you directly but they have their own partners in crime i would say they are those uh, mullahs okay mullahs have street power so they will have these mullahs after you they will term you kafir and once you are labeled kafir in my country in that country you are done okay you have to escape from there you know there is no way of uh, you can't survive there so brahman angrez punjab ke arbab e nabuwat political elite of punjab so this is what awaza e haq uthta hai kab aur kidhar se miskeen dil ka manda dini kashmakash andar so this is what others think about that others including the ones that are ruling us there the average indian muslim uh there they think about of that indian person indian muslim person and uh, so now that indian muslim is very you know um so the last one is persian and it says my humble heart is feeling much surprised so uh who is going to tell the truth okay who is going to convey the concerns of an average indian muslim uh you know average indian muslim living in the indian subcontinent so he has his concerns his concerns are these the ones that i portrayed a mentality then a tag that's given from outside and then this 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 clutches of you know which we can't get rid of uh, of this political elite in punjab okay so who is there to uh, to understand or to, to his concerns you know to to have an answer for his uh, concerns so that's what iqbal says that my humble heart is feeling much surprised 